follow I will follow Jesus anywhere and everywhere I will follow him follow follow I will follow Jesus anywhere he leads me I will follow him follow follow I will follow Jesus anywhere and everywhere I will follow him follow follow I will follow Jesus anywhere he leads me I will follow him follow follow I will follow Jesus anywhere and everywhere I will follow him follow follow I will follow Jesus anywhere he leads me I will follow him the Lord knows the way through the wilderness all I have to do is to follow the Lord knows the way through the will the names all I have to do is to follow him follow follow I will follow Jesus anywhere and everywhere I will follow him follow follow I will follow Jesus anywhere he leads me I will follow him the Lord knows the way through the will the names all I have to do is to follow the Lord knows the way through the way the names all I have to do is to follow him following Jesus every day by day nothing can harm me anywhere I go Jesus is with me all over the world Jesus my Savior is my all in all following following Jesus every day by day nothing can harm me anywhere I go Jesus is with me all over the world Jesus my Savior is my all in all the question I have for you today is that is Jesus our Savior is he your all in all are you following Jesus if we are not following Jesus then we are not doing a good thing before we go into today's message let us have a brief word in prayers father we thank you we worship you we thank you lord for letting us to know that it is important to follow you and in following you we are going to have a fruitful life we are going to bear the fruits that you want us to bear father help us in today's message in jesus name we pray and we are covered with the blood of jesus in jesus name we pray amen today i want us to look at luke chapter 6 verse 43 to 45 luke chapter 6 verse 43 to 45 it says for a good tree bringeth forth for a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruits 
neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather their grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart is mouth speaketh. That is in Luke chapter 6 verse 43 to 45. And that is to tell us right there that a fruit, a tree is known by its fruits just for us to know and as we know a banana tree cannot bring forth you know a, a an apple an apple fruit and an apple tree cannot bring forth a banana tree i mean a banana fruit you know whatever you plant is what the fruit will be if you plant an orange you are expecting that the fruit is going to be an orange if you plant an onions you are expecting that the fruit is going to be onions if you plant tomatoes you are expecting that the fruit is going to be tomatoes if you plant an onions and the and the fruit is tomatoes you know right there that something is faulty therefore the tree is known by its fruit this cannot be overemphasized or underemphasized in today's message we can see here that you cannot be a good fruit and then bring forth corrupt you cannot be a good tree and bring forth corrupt fruits it's not possible that's why it says right there that out of the abundance of the heart a good tree is known a good person is known do you know that the more you follow jesus the more you will be like him let us look at john chapter 12 verse 26 john 12 verse verse 26 says if any man serve me let him follow me and where i am there also shall my servants be if any man serve me him with my father honor if any man serve me let him follow me see Christ is saying that if you know that you are serving him, if you are actually for Christ, if you proclaim that you are a true child of God, then the fruits we bear ought to be the fruits of a true child of God. The more closely you walk with Jesus, the more your life should emulate him. Some people, they claim to know God and they say that they are the children of God, and let us see what Matthew chapter 7 verse 16 to 20 says. Matthew chapter 7 verse 16 to 20. Let us see what it says. It says right here that ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of tongues or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil, evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is ill down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by thy fruit ye shall know them. So, if you are a child of God, by the fruits of your life, people can tell that you are a true child of God. Because the more you, you are like Christ, the more you claim. If you claim to be a child of God, then the more your daily life should be in line with the Lord. You know, Paul, Paul the apostles, the apostles, you know, Moses, you know, Father Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, we can see from the life of these people that they, they claim that they are children of God. And when you look at their daily life, you can tell that the more each day of their life, you know, replicates uh, and, you know, show that they are actually children of God. Let your life reflect the life of God if you claim that you are a child of God. Because the truth is, the more you dine and wine with Christ, 
by reading the scripture, the word of God, the Bible, the more you will be partakers of his glory. And for you to be able to make it to heaven, you will not let the weight of life, you know, whatever it's going on in this world that is weighing you down, you will not allow you to cross you to an extent where you will need, you will not have to deny Jesus, you know. So you don't, you know, you, you don't allow, you don't give room for you to deny Jesus if you claim that indeed you are a child of God. And another thing is the more you follow the Lord, the more you will serve him. And the more you serve the Lord, the more you will know him better and the more you will be like him. The more you follow Jesus, the more you will receive the dynamite of the Holy Spirit in your life. The more you follow Jesus, the more Jesus will make you to be hospitable to others. You can see that in Romans chapter 12 verse 13. Romans chapter 12 verse 13. The more you follow Jesus, the more you will be hospitable to others. So if you are not hospitable to others and you claim that you are a child of God, the question is, are you very sure that you are a child of God? Romans chapter 12 verse 13. It says, distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality hospitality can you see that distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality so if you are a child of god if you claim that you are following jesus then you are going to be given to hospitality you know you the god will help you to transform god will help you we transform his own image inside of you and every selfishness of human, you know, that I in human will be out of your life. And you will no longer, you know, have selfishness. Instead, you will begin to think of being hospitable to others. The more you follow Jesus, the more you will no longer halt between two opinions. And the fear of man will depart from you. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, when they were supposed to bow down to the king, they did not bow down to the king. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they did not have the fear of man, but rather they had the fear of God in them. They did not hurt between two opinions. They knew what they wanted, they knew whom they were serving, and they, and they were like, you know, oh king, you know, we, we cannot, we are not fearful to answer you in this manner. You know, and they did not. They stood their ground. So the more you serve Jesus, the more the, you know you are going to be like him. The fear of man will not be inside of you. Also, the more you follow Jesus, as we can see in First Peter chapter four verse nine, the more you will be like him to help others without grudging. You know, you do not treat others with a biased mind. If you are still grudging when you help others, you are grudging about it, or you have a biased mind and you claim to be a child of God, you might really want to check that out. Also, the more you follow Jesus, the more you will be like Jesus by supporting others in their need. When someone comes to you, they need help, you will be there to help them. Because you will realize that the blessing of God is flowing into your life. And you are not going to limit the blessing of God by not reaching out to those that the Lord wants you to reach out to. Also, the more you follow Jesus, the more you will realize that you want to preach the gospel of Jesus to others. And you also want to have this knowledge of Jesus Christ too. Because a different thing to, you know, it's a different thing to preach and it's a different thing for you not to even have knowledge of what you are preaching so the more you follow jesus the more you are wanting to know more about him the more your soul winning will grow and expand so that you can help you know the kingdom of god in growing the more you follow jesus the more you will desire to be like him the more you will look forward to meet Jesus, according to first, according to John chapter four, verse thirty-four. Let us open that one. I'll be opening some Bible verses while some I will just, um, you know, say it, and um, you uh, find time and um, hope and read it. John chapter four, 
verse 34 it says jesus see it unto them my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work the, my meat is to do the the will of him that sent me and to finish his work you see the 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 desire of christ is to do the will of god the desire of christ is to reach out to souls is to reach out to others is to is to bring those that have not known christ is to bring those whose salvation is not yet given to is to bring them to the knowledge of god so the more you know christ the more you reach out to souls that are not saved the more you reach out to sinners the more you desire for them to know the lord you know as the will of christ is is to you know is to is to do the father's will the father will is for others to be saved for people not to perish so the more you know christ the more you will reach out to souls the more you will reach out to those that are perishing the more you will reach out to sinners out there because you want to do the will of the lord jesus as i've read to you in john chapter 4 so you know in, in john chapter 4 and verse 35 also say say not ye there are yet four months and then comment others behold i say unto you lift up your eyes and look on the field for they are white already to harvest as you can see in john chapter 4 verse 35 the more you follow jesus the more you 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 are going to be willing to face this challenge of winning souls unto the lord you are not going to procrastinate when the lord says go and and win this person to me because you don't know when that person might die you don't know what will befall the person in the next minute you will be able to go out and reach out to that soul when the lord says i want you to go to a particular place to win souls unto me because the, you know he says the the he say the field is harvest the, there's harvest this is the time to harvest souls unto the lord this is the time to reach out the, the field is white there are souls that are dying there are souls that are perishing and we as children of god we are meant to reach out to them because the lord has saved you for a purpose so if you claim that you are a child of God, the more you follow Jesus, the more you claim you are a child of God, the more you should reach out to souls that are perishing out there. Also, the more you follow Jesus, the more you will do his will and you will gather your home blessing and you will reap your wages. You, you know, there is life and light and there is blessings here on earth when you obey the Lord. John chapter 4 verse 36 to 38. It says, And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life in tenor, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one soweth and another reapeth. I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored, and ye are entered into their labors. You see, and ye are entered into the labors. The Lord is saying that I sent you, I sent you to bestow no labor. Christ has died on the cross of Calvary for every soul. The you that you are saved, you that you are not saved. Christ died for you. Christ died for every one of us. So the Lord Jesus has done this labor for us already. So what we are left to do is to go out there and win souls unto the Lord. You see, is to go out there because if you say you're following Jesus, then let your life, let all you do to reflect that. The more you follow Jesus, the more you will do all your best to ensure that you preserve all those that the, i mean the life of those that christ jesus has committed into your hands if you call yourself a minister of god in the vineyard of god if the lord is using you to, you know as a minister of god as a prophet or as a prophetess as an evangelist you the more you serve lord the more you say that hey i'm a child of god you're telling people out there jesus is my father i know him i'm a child of god you know you know that the life of those that are coming to you your shepherd you know you know that the lord has entrusted us life into your hands and you're doing your best to win them for the lord you are not gaining their souls 
goes for the devil. You are not doing that which pleases Satan and his courts. You are doing that by the grace of God, with the mercy of God. You are winning the souls on the Lord. You will side that you on. You are on the Lord's side. That's what it means. You are on the Lord's side because you know that the Lord is going to require the blood of these souls in your hand. If you call yourself a minister of God, an evangelist, a prophet, a prophetess, whatever, you know, title you say you are and you call yourself a child of God. Every soul, all your worshippers, all your members, the Lord is going to require their blood in your hands. If you are not a true prophet, if you are not a true evangelist, if you are not a true minister of God, their souls, their blood will be required from you if they end up their life in hellfire. So if you are claiming that, hey, I'm a follower of Jesus, ensure that you are doing your best that you preserve the life of those that christ jesus has committed into your hands also the more you follow jesus the more you make god happy and the more you ensure that you remain his disciples john chapter 15 verse 8 let's look at john chapter 15 verse 8 john 15 verse 8 it says Herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. So shall you be my disciples. See, the more you remain the disciples of the Lord, the more you follow him. The more you follow the Lord, the more you will desire for people to also follow the Lord and to worship and to grow in the Lord. That is to say that if you see anyone not following the Lord, you ensure and you do your best to make sure that they are following the Lord and you do your best. If you see anyone that is backsliding, you know, you don't laugh at them. You don't make jest at them. You don't backbite again at their back. You don't gossip at their back. You ensure that you do your best. Hey, brother, what is going on? Sister, what is going on? You know, and you pray to the Lord to bring them back to him. Also, the more you follow the Lord, the more you will support the work of the Lord in the household of God. How can you support the work of the Lord if you are denying the Lord your titan offering? You know, the more you follow the Lord, if you claim that you're a child of God, don't deny the Lord your titan offering. Because your titan offering is, is, the, is the, you know, monetary financial instrument that the church is using either in buying more chairs or in electronics or in paying for the rent of the building or you know in maintenance you know if the speaker is faulty they use the money to repair the speaker you know anybody is in need they use the money to help those that comes to the minister of god for need and there are some churches that also help you know people that are not even in their location or people that are not in their church they help them with financial you know blessing so if you are denying your church your tithes and offering then you are not supporting the work of the lord you are not supporting the the household of god that god has placed you in so the more you follow the lord the more you will understand that you should do your own best to support the work of the lord in the household of god also, the more you follow the Lord, the more you will do God's will and you will do the bidding of the Spirit of God. If God is leading you to do something, you know this is the will of God. You will not find it as a burden to do the will of God. You will find it very easy to do the will of God the more you follow the Lord. Also, the more you follow the Lord, the more your joy will be full in the Lord. You know, the more you follow the Lord, your joy will be full. You will just see that you are having the, this constant joy, this constant joy in your heart. Let us read um, John chapter 15, verse 16. John chapter 15, verse 16. It says, ye have, not chosen, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain and, and that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Lord in my name, it shall be given unto you. 
whatsoever you ask of the Lord in the name of the Lord, it will to be given unto you. The more you follow the Lord, the more whatever you ask of the Lord in the name of the Lord, it shall be given unto you with no stress. Your prayers will be answered. The more you follow the Lord, the more you will understand you are to love those that the Lord has placed in your vineyard. Let us read John chapter 15 verse 17. It says, these things I command you that ye love one another. So the more you follow the Lord, the more you will love others. Instead of hatred to be in your heart, if anybody offends you, you will understand that you should forgive them. Once, even before they say they are sorry, you forgive them, you let it go. You don't bear any grudges, you don't bear any malice in your heart. You don't have an unforgiving spirit. Because if you have an unforgiving spirit, you bear grudges, you bear malice in your heart against them. That can even hinder you from making it to heaven whenever the rapture shall sound. Or if by death you die before you even repent, you know, that can take that person to hellfire. So the more you follow the Lord, the more you know that you shouldn't engage in all these things. Also, the more you follow the Lord, the more you are wise. And, you know, and the Lord will enable you to turn many unto righteousness. And great will be your blessing and your stars. And, I mean, stars will be on your crown on that day when the Lord shall come. Or when by death the Lord takes you away from this earth. Let us look at Daniel chapter 1 verse 3. Let us open your Bible, please, and look at Daniel chapter 1, verse 3. You will see right there that the more you follow the Lord, the more you'll be able to turn many unto righteousness. Daniel chapter 1, verse 3, it says, Daniel chapter 1, verse 3 says, And the king spake unto Asperzah, the master of the Enoch, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the priests, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning knowledge and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongues of the child of the of the shadings verse 5 and the king appointed them a day and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank so nourishing them three years and at the hand thereof they must stand before king you know let us read on verse 6 now among these were of the children of judah daniel ananiah michelle and and uh, uh, and, Azar and Azariah. Verse 7, unto whom the prince of the Enoch gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name of, Be of, of Betahazar, and to Ananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Isaiah of Abednego. If you read these verses on, because of time, if you read it on, you will realize that, uh, let's go to verse 12, Prove thy servant, I beseech. Okay, verse, um, let's, um, let, let me read back to verse 10. Then said Daniel to Meza, whom the prince of the Enoch has set over Daniel, Ananiah, Mitchell, and Azariah. Prove thy servant, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. You know, let's, um, let's go down to verse 17. As of these four children, Daniel, you know, Daniel, um, Daniel, Ananiah, uh, Mitchell, and Azariah, you know, and uh, verse 17 says, as, as of these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all vision and dreams. Verse 18, now at the end of the days, that's at the end of the 10 days that the king has said that he should bring them in. Then the prince of the Enoch brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar, and the king communed with them, and among them was all found none, like Daniel, Ananiah, Mitchell, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. Verse 20, And in all matters of wisdom and understanding and the, that, that the king in, uh, inquired of them, he found them ten times better 
than all the magnitions and astrologers that were in his reign. And Daniel continued even until the first year of King Cyrus. The more you follow Jesus, the more, you know, in wisdom, in knowledge, in favor, wherever you are, he will favor you. You know, if you stand for him, if you say you are for Christ and you do not allow the things of the world to corrupt you, just like Daniel and Ananiah, you know, Michal and Azariah stood for the Lord. You too, if you stand for the Lord, the more you follow him, the more you will be favored of the Lord. So if you are not following the Lord, and you are not seeing the, the blessing of the, if you claim you are following the Lord and you are not seeing the blessing of the Lord, then you need to check your life again. Also, the more you follow Jesus, the more your needs, like I said earlier, will be granted unto you. And we could see that in John chapter 15, verse 17. The more you follow Jesus, the more you are wise, the more the Lord will enable you to turn unto righteousness and to encourage others to turn unto righteousness also as we round up very soon the more you follow the lord the more the lord will keep giving you divine strategies to win each souls that come to your path in life like god gave to the early apostles as peter was able to win three thousand souls to the lord in one day you know the lord gave him the strategy the lord did miracle in their midst. The, the same thing the Lord will also do unto you. The more you serve Jesus, the more honor you, you have for God in your daily walk for the Lord. The, the more you, you, know, you will honor God. And let us look at John chapter 12, verse 27, real quick. It says, Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say, Father? save me from this hour but for this cause came i unto this hour father glorify thy name then came there a voice from heaven saying i have both glorified it and we glorify it again you see the more you serve the lord the more you are glorifying the name of the lord and when you call on the lord the more the lord will also allow his name to be glorified in your life the more you follow jesus the more you will be a conqueror in all you do for him the more you follow jesus the more you will serve the lord you will serve the lord in jesus name anything that doesn't want you to serve the lord anything that doesn't want us to serve the lord i pray that the lord will remove those things out of our lives in jesus name and in all that we do we are going to dedicate this one life that we have to live we are going to dedicate it for the lord and the name of the lord will be glorified in our life in jesus name let us read romans chapter 8 verse 37 it says nay in all those things we are more than conqueror to him that loved us for i am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creatures shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So the more you serve the Lord, the more you, your love for Him will grow, and nothing, the Lord will help us that nothing will be able to separate us from his love and nothing will be able to take us out of his will and out of his path for our lives in Jesus name. The more you follow the Lord, the more you are committed to the Lord in the service of the Lord and in the things of the Lord. The more you follow the Lord, the more you will receive the power from God to do exploits in the service like Elijah, like Elisha, you know, like his apostles like moses you know the more you will, you will be used of the lord the more you follow the lord the more god will find you dependable and the more the lord finds you dependable the more he will give you double portion to do more exploits in his vineyard like elisha like i said earlier and i pray that in our daily service with the lord 
double portion will be our lot in Jesus' name. So this, by His grace, has bring us to the end of today's message. Like I said, I'm doing my very best now to be very time conscious. Thank you so much and God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today's message. We pray that as you have reached out to us to follow you more, I pray you will help us to be more like you in Jesus' name. Help us to understand that the tree bear its kind of fruits and help us to bear good fruits in Jesus' name. Help us, O Lord, and as many that are desiring to follow you more, to know you more, help them to follow you and to know you more in Jesus' name. Thank you, precious Jesus. Glory, honor, adoration be ascribed unto thee. Father, I pray that for those that are burdened and and every you know with weight of life and they are crushing and they are like what do i do for those that are at the verge of committing suicide i pray lord you will send forth your healing unto them you will send forth your abundant blessing unto them you will encourage them and the needs of their life you are going to meet in jesus name i pray lord for those that are looking for deliverance you will deliver them set us from free from the captives of the enemy. Deliver us from the accuser of the brethren. Deliver us from the condemnation of the evil doers. And Father, vindicate every one of us, O Lord, and fight our battles and help us, O Lord, that nothing will deviate us from serving the Lord in truth and in spirit in Jesus' name. Help us, O Lord, to not keep falling and rising into sin. Help your people, help every one of us, O Lord, that we will stand for the Lord, will bear good fruit, and that your, your daily grace will reach out unto our spirit, souls, and body as we are still in this world in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, you will reach out to the fatherless, you will reach out to the motherless, you will reach out to the orphans, to the widow and the widowers in Jesus' name. Father, take care of the needs of your people, Lord. For those that are down with any kind of sickness, Heal all diverse sickness and let your people be made old in Jesus' name. For those that are wanting to be saved, I pray you will give them genuine repentance, O Lord, as they confess their sin. And you will give every one of us, O Lord, the grace, O God, not to go back to vomit and not to sin no more in the name of Jesus. Father, help us all, O Lord, that's because we all need your blessing, Lord. We all need you. Help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Cover each and every one of us, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Put the mark of the blood of Jesus upon us that says, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm in Jesus' name. Father, be merciful unto us, O Lord. Do us good, Lord, and be, and be gracious unto us. It is well with our spirit. It is well with our soul. It is well with our bodies in Jesus' name. Jesus, please pray for us beyond that which I can ask for. Thank you, precious Lord, and do good to your people. Reach out to every one of us, Lord, and give us the grace to serve you more. And the more we follow you, the more we will be like you in all aspects of our life. And above all, if by death or by rapture sound, none of us will miss heaven in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, was strongly believed and have prayed. Amen. Anyone that dig a pit for any of us, he or she shall be the one to fall therein. For the Lord shall rescue us out of the arrows and the fiery darts of the wicked ones. In Jesus' name, it is well with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much for joining. I thank God we are able to finish today before 40 minutes. Yes. Like I promised, I'll be more time conscious. Now we finished much earlier than the last message. Again, thank you. Stay blessed and the Lord reach out to you. Remain blessed. Thank you. Remember, God loves you. Stay holy and stay rapturable. Till another time, stay blessed.